let us look at how we can do multiplication of matrices. Now, the first thing that should occur to us is just like we have done addition and subtraction, why not define matrix multiplication in the same way. For example, if we have A is a 2 by 3 matrix, B is a 2 by 3 matrix, could we have written C is A into B okay? and where we can say C i j is equal to A i j times B i j which means we just multiply term by term. Okay? But what you will find is that matrix multiplication is not defined in an easy way like this and the question is why or why not? Why can't we define matrix multiplication like this? So for that we have to understand the purpose or the reason we have defined matrices. So the reason we have defined matrices is because it helps us to solve some real life problems, specifically solutions to linear equations that have large number of variables. Okay? Like for example, we may just take 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 system of equations, but in real life even if you have a 100 variable system, matrices can be used to solve. What is the connection between that and matrix multiplication? Well, we will see that for the purpose that we want, we want matrices to be able to be used to solve let us say linear equations, we need a different kind of multiplication operation and that different kind of multiplication operation is how we are going to define matrix multiplication. So, which means this is wrong. Okay? In fact, we are going to say that if A and B are matrices of the same order like this 2 by 3 and 2 by 3, you cannot even write this. Okay? So, here let us remove this. Okay? Let us say that B is a matrix not 2 by 3, but let us say 3 by 1. Okay? Now, let us understand how we can multiply the matrices. Now, before I give the general um, uh, formula, it is good to understand with a simple specific example. right? Now, so A is, let us say I will take an example, 2 by 3 matrix, 1, 0, 3, 2, 1, minus 4, 2 rows, 3 columns. And B is a 3 by 1, right? 3 rows, 1 column, right? So, 1, 3 and 4. Now, it is important to note that this 3 and this 3 are equal, okay? And that is not by coincidence, I specifically chose that. Now, the way we are going to multiply, okay? In fact, let me just not make it 3 by 1, let me make it 3 by 2, okay? So, 3 by 2, which means there will be one more column. The point here is this is 3 and this is 3. That is what is very, very important, right? When it is like that, then the way multiplication is defined is you take the first row of A and multiply it by the first column of B. What do you mean by multiply? You multiply entry by entry 1 and 1, 0 and 3, 3 and 4. Now you will see why it is important that these two numbers are equal. What is this number? This is the number of columns in A. What is this number? This is the number of rows in B. Now, those two have to be equal if you want to be able to multiply term by term. So, if I say C is equal to A B, then C will be equal to 1 into 1 plus 0 into 3 plus 3 into 4. Okay? So, let us, so 1 into 1 is 1, 0 into 3 is 0, 3 into 4 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13. So, we multiply this row by this column. Next, we are going to multiply the same row 
by the second column and put it in the second column. So, 1 into 2, 0 into 0, 3 into minus 2. So, it is 2 minus 6 will be minus 4. Okay. Now, let us come to the next row. We are done with the first row. We have taken the first row, multiplied it by first column and then second column. Let us take the second row. We will multiply it by the first column and then the second column. Second row by first column is 2 into 1, which is 2, 1 into 3, which is 3. So, 2 plus 3 is 5, minus 4 into 4 is minus 16. So, this will be minus 11. 5 minus 16 is minus 11. Next, 2 into 2, 4, 1 into 0, 0, minus 4 into minus 2 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So, you see how we got? It is a completely different kind of thing. It is not entry by entry at all. You multiply a row by a column. But what does it mean to multiply a row by a column? Multiply entry by entry and then add the products. right? Same thing do for first row, second column. So, here is the deal. To get C11, take first row of A and first column of B. To get the value of C21, right, that is this entry take second row of A, first column of B. So, the idea is C21, which is this entry, is obtained by taking the second row of A, first column of B and multiplying term by term. So, what matrix multiplication does is, takes this into this and compresses it into one entry, which is why C21 is one entry, which is obtained by multiplying second row of A into first column of B. Okay? So, now, some obvious uh, inferences we can make. In order to do this multiplication, this 3 and this 3 must be equal. If you had 3 entries here, but 5 entries here, you can't multiply term by term, so which means Matrix multiplication is only possible if A is m by n and B is n by p. Please note that this n and this n must be equal. Okay? So, if A is m by n and B is n by p, then C is equal to A B, where C is m by p, this m by p. Okay? So, what does it mean? In our example, it is 2 by 3, 3 by 2, so it became 2 by 2. Okay? But the reason why it is 2 by 2, not just because we, we can just easily write an m and a p, the reason it is that is because look at what is Cij. Okay, in the general case where C is A B, C i j is multiplication of ith row of A and jth column of B. You take the ith row and multiply by the jth column. Okay? And this can be written as sigma okay, k is equal to 1 to n, the number of columns and the number of rows, that is the k. So, you do a i k times b k j. So, this is very, very important. The fact that when you multiply the ith row by the jth column, it is a sigma. How many products? n products. A i k times b k j. So, how did we get there? What does that thing uh, translate to here? For example, in our example, let us say we take c 2 1 
Now C21 would have been okay, second row of A times first column. We got minus 11, but how did we get it? It is 2 into 1 plus 1 into 3 plus minus 4 into 4. So you see, you see this has product, 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 three such products. Why three? Because that is the number of columns you have here and the number of rows. So if you have n columns here, there will be n such products. What are those n products? Those products are what are given by A i k b k j. K is varying. So which means what? You take the i row and go through all the columns. That is exactly what we have done. Here it is, if you take the second row, we went through all the columns. And then in the second matrix, you take the jth column, all the rows. B k j, where k is varying from 1 to n. So you will go b1 j, b2 j, b3 j, b4 j, everything will be taken. And that is what you mean by, that is what happens by taking this column and all the rows. So, in general, the ijth entry of Cij of the matrix C is obtained by Aik times Bkj and then summing it over all this k is equal to 1 to n. So, some big ideas in matrix multiplication is that it is not term by term multiplication. And the reason is that we want it to be useful for equation solving. And you can only multiply matrices where the first is m by n and the next is n by p. For example, you can multiply matrices if A is 2 by 5 and B is 5 by 3, you can multiply. Okay? A, B is allowed, but B, A is not allowed. Why? Because B is 5 by 3 and A is 2 by 5, you can't multiply. These two are not equal, therefore, you can't multiply. Okay? So, there are only some situations where you can multiply matrices and when you do want to multiply, the entries are obtained by this equation. This is confusing sometimes to understand what is the sigma and all that, but a better way to understand is take each row of A, multiply by each column of B. Okay? That is how you are going to get the resultant matrix.